Uh, no, it's 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 the major benchmark. I remember after our first two broadcasts, people were already said uh, they were already saying a hundred or bust. You know, uh, it's that is syndication. It gives you even more longevity if you've lasted that long. That means you're kind of in the out in the stratosphere. You're in orbit. Your booster rockets have all worked flawlessly. I, I didn't hesitate. The conversation went like this. Do you want to be in the new DreamWorks thing? It's called Shrek. Yes. I took the book to, to, to them to only a week ago, read it to them at bedtime, and played the CD. Midday the next day, my eight-year-old granddaughter recited the entire thing to me, including the song. She learned the tune. <laughs> it was great. Yeah, we, we'd, we'd been friends for some time, so we, we kind of, it was, it was wonderful. When I heard that John was going to do it, I was absolutely delighted. We'd never worked together. I think we performed at a gala at different times in the evening. But it was just, a, it was just the icing on the cake to, to be working with someone who I absolutely loved and, and you know, was ha more than happy to spend time with and, you know, a friend and someone who, so all the shorthand fell into place exactly. <laughs> There was a moment when he stands up in a cabinet meeting and staggers out of the room. And it was my idea that he actually reach right straight into his trousers and walk <laughs> off. This was inspired by a quote from Churchill when someone pointed out that he'd left his fly buttons open. And his quote was, it's not a problem. A dead bird never leaves its nest. <laughs> <laughs> Persuades you that you John is ready. Oh, thank you, Patty. Thank you so much. Stunning. Do you know John Lipko? <laughs> Let's go. 